we had a problem. We would go to weddings and we'd have to unload these huge lights. I had to find something that was more nimble, easy to set up and easy to break down and was also powerful enough to uh, cover me in speeches, uh, dancing, uh, reception, and sometimes even just interviews. So through my research, I found out about the Godox ML60s, the first version, uh, Justin Porter, I actually recommended them. And then he kind of rescinded his recommendation, but I decided I wanted to check them out. So through my research, I found out that they just had a version two drop. Um, once the version two dropped, I went ahead and ordered them. I just got them and I was able to use them this past weekend and the weekend before at two weddings. After using them, I can honestly say there's some great lights and I do not regret my decision. Are they for everybody? Possibly, but not for every situation. I'm actually using the lights to power uh, that spot right there. And on the right side, I am at, or on the left side, I'm actually using it as well, as you can see. Um, these are them at 3200. They do go down to 2800, but they can also go down up to 6500. Now you're gonna have to excuse me because my uh, white balance is a little off if I do do that, but let's see, this 6,500. And um, I'm actually using a different light right here, so I'm not even gonna touch that, but just so you know, this is it at 6,500. That's the hot spot that I'm using right there to separate, to separate myself from the background. Um, and this is the other light right here that's, that's lighting me. Now, somebody did ask me if you can actually use these as a key light. I do believe so. This is a small room, but I will show you what it would look like if I used it. This is at 100%. Um, and this is at 100%. So I definitely think you can use it as a key light. This is actually it cool, but yeah, let me put it back down to So that was me playing around with the Kelvin and the brightness. And that brings me to my next point, ease of use. Um, I can pretty much do all of that from my phone. If you have previous Godox lights that are set up through the app, you can use all of them at once and control them all from your phone. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can do what I just did, but also you can turn them off, turn them on. That's kind of another reason why I got the lights. Um, I know Justin Porter said that he has this connectivity issues and it usually only happens if you haven't touched the lights for a while. I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes, let's say. Or if you, you know, walked out of the vicinity of the lights, let's say into outside of the building or something like that. Overall, I do like, like these lights. Um, I think they are pretty powerful for how small they are, how compact they are. And honestly, I don't have any complaints. I think that uh, these lights are a great addition to your kit. If you are somebody that is into, let's say, content creating and you are looking to up your quality of lights, I think these are a great investment and of course in your professional work you can use it if you're a videographer um, that does weddings, uh, interviews, or anything like that. Another cool thing about these lights is that they do come with a plug that you can use on a wall but they also have the ability to buy a separate handle that you can connect to NPF batteries. So if you have a myriad of NPF batteries laying around. Um, you just find a whole new use for them. Uh, that's how I like to use them just because, especially at weddings, if you want to get ideal lighting, it's usually hard to find a plug next to where you want to light. And the lights last a pretty long time. I actually use these at two different weddings. Of course, mine are a little larger NPF batteries, but I didn't charge them in between the two weddings and they worked out fine. Now, there is a downside. You cannot use USB-C to power these lights. Unlike the ML100 by those you can power with um, USB-C. And you can't use V-mounts on these either. So you are limited in that regard. But for the price and for the size, I really cannot complain about these lights. Some other cons about these lights, uh, I'd say it, it it is a Godox mount and it's not a Boeing's mount. So the only accessory I have for it is the cone. I don't have a 
softbox or any other modifiers that I can put on these right now since I just got them. Um, and if you do want to put that kind of stuff on these lights, you'd either have to get an adapter from Bones to Godox mount, or you'd have to purchase your Godox accessories through Godox. Rolling into the next con, I think these lights are great, but they're not for every situation. If you're trying to light somewhere that's very bright already, uh, like if you need to compete with some light, like something like direct sunlight or just like a very bright studio, you're not gonna be wanting to use these. These might come in handy in the sense of them being more of an accent light in that situation, but uh, especially for outside, I don't think you're gonna be using them much unless it's already dark outside. Um, in that situation, I think they are awesome because they're so portable and let's say you're out shooting yourself, you can set them up pretty quickly and you can control them from your phone um, while you're trying to figure out your shot. And lastly, you can just buy these lights by themselves without the adapter for the NPF batteries for I believe 140 and with the adapter for I believe $200 or 199 if I'm not mistaken on Amazon last time I checked. I know that I've worked jobs with other wedding filmmakers and they pull out these awesome, I think they're like Pro Photo or um, other brands that are very tiny lights, but they light up the scene so nice. And that's actually what I was looking for to get something like that, that was something more portable as opposed to carrying a big old case. Because before what I'd have to do is carry these two big old Godox cases and I'd have to struggle, plus I'd have to put those down, go back and get my um, light stands. So it was already a struggle doing all of that. But I was able to go from a from that setup to something that's more like an eighth of that setup, which is awesome. But yeah, after looking up those lights that other wedding filmmakers uh, use, those lights are usually around 1200 bucks. And I think it's awesome that we live in a time that you could find something like this for $200 or under that can serve you um, in your filmmaking journey. And it just makes life a lot easier when you're somebody that's on a budget like me. So overall, I would recommend these lights. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts if you have any questions or if you need to show these lights in a certain scenario, I can try to do that for you. And if you don't mind, please um, hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot as I am trying to make a lot more of these videos. I'm trying to show you guys how I use my gear on jobs and how it helps me and how I can um, either help you or, or deter you from buying something that I use that you might not like and you might be able to see it through one of my videos. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a good one.